Hello friends, today we learn tabulation. Study the given table carefully and answer the questions that follow. Number of candidates appeared and qualified for a test in hundreds in six different years from five different zones. Here's P, Q, R, S, T. These five are zones and six different years means 2005 to 2010. 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, first question. In which years was in zone S? The difference between the appeared candidates and qualified candidates, the second lowest. Here say zone S. So first we see zone S. The difference between the appeared candidates and the qualified candidates, the second lowest. So here the appeared candidates and here the qualified candidates. So we write in zone S. The difference between the appeared and qualified candidates two thousand five in two thousand five four point two minus two point four two thousand five. 4.2 minus 2.4 equal to 1.8 2006 7.4 and 3.3 so 2006 7.4 2007, 2007, S zone, 8.3 minus 5.6, equal to 2.7. Next, 2008, 2008, S zone, 9.3 minus 6.4, Equal to 2.9 2009 2009 S zone 11.4 appeared and qualified 5.2 so 11.4 minus 5.2 equal to 6.2 and 2010 2010 appeared 14.2 and qualified 11.4 so 14.2 minus 11.4 equal to 2.8 here say the second lowest here the lowest one is 1.8 and second lowest is 2.7 2.7 2007 years so the answer is 2007 because here say the second lowest. Next question. The number of candidates who qualified the test from zone R in the year 2010. 2010 zone R was approximately what percentage of the number percentage of the number of candidates who appeared from zone Q in the year 2008. So we mark the main point. Here zone R and year 2010. So first we find 2010 and zone R. Zone R and here say who qualified. Qualified. R qualified 2010. It's 7.4. And say what percentage of the number of candidates who appeared from zone Q? 2008. 2008 zone Q. And here say appeared. So Q 2008 
appeared. It's 5.4. So, required percentage. Required percentage. Equal to 7.4 by 5.4. And here percentage. So, we multiply 100. So, it's approximate 137. So, 137 is the answer. Next question. What was the average number of candidates appeared from appeared from June T over all the years together? So, here we find the average. So, T, June T and find the average from June T appeared. So here the appeared candidates from June T. So we find the average. So average number of candidates appeared from T all over the years. 6. So, we divide it by 6. Multiply with 100. So, if we take the sum, it's 48.3 multiply with 100 by 6. So, 805. 805 is the answer. Next question. What was the ratio of the number of candidates appeared from June P in the year 2005 to the number of candidates qualified from June S in the year 2007? What was the ratio of the number of candidates appeared from June P in the year 2005? So, first we find 2005. Next we find John P. John P. Next we find appeared. So, appeared John P. 2005. It's 3.2. So, we write here 3.2. And next say to the number of candidates qualified from John S. To the number of candidates qualified June S year 2007. 2007 June S qualified. So it's 5.6. Here we find the ratio. So required ratio equal to 3.2 by 